today, and today we're going to try and have a game of Southern Bell on the Amstrad CPC, and this is a game request by Stuart McVeigh. Now, this is a game I've never played before in my life. So what this is, hence by the name, Southern Bell, it's a steam train simulator. I think the Southern Bell was a train that ran from Victoria Station to um, Brighton. Uh, am I right on saying that? It's a it's a really old steam train, so probably from the 1930s. I think I don't know. I don't know nothing about trains to be honest with you. Um, now I'm not much of a well. I'm not a train person to be honest with you. Um, I did have a Hornby Railway <laughs> when I was younger, that's about it. Right, I think it's gone into demo mode. Um, right, let's get out of that. Right, how do I get out of it? Now, it's doing the speed run on its own, but how do I get out of it? Now, this game consists of keys. Right, push X. X for... menu I'm pushing X I'm pushing X so why ain't it letting me fuck right here you got push it a few times right okay right now I had a hell of a job trying to get the train going now this is um, keys you got to use different keys as it performs different functions right so computer demo demonstration runs that's what you see if you don't do nothing it goes into that training run and that's exactly what I'm gonna do because you can do easy schedules stop all these you do have um, different sub menus and right let's put it into training you see this menu pretty much throughout the entire game it, it really depends what you want to do if you're a newcomer like me to the game I'm just going to push one, regulate a cutoff and break. I'm just going to have just control over those three things. If you're a new person, that's what I'll recommend because otherwise it, it will get very complicated. Two plus blow and whistle, um, firing, injector, full control. So you've got full control over everything. I don't know fuck all about how to drive a steam train, so I'm going to put it on the simplest as pos possible. Regulate, uh, cut off and break. Push one. So train run, control level one, Victoria to Brighton. So I think you've got to keep it on schedule and all. Even though this is training, you got to keep it onto your schedule. So... Victoria Station, Ballum, East Croydon. I know that station very well. <laughs> Being brought up from Croydon. Calls the North. Um, yeah, okay. Then and you get all the way to Brighton. Yeah, I've been to, been from East Croydon to Brighton a few times in my life. Right. Not driving the fucking train, mind you. <laughs> right, let's... Let's push in, enter, and continue. Right, drivers are reminded not to make excessive smoke at Victoria Station. Ah, okay. Well, I'm not in control of the smoke, so I won't be doing that, will I? Right, here we are. So, we're the train driver now. <laughs> okay, so we're the train driver of the Southern Bell. Here we go, it's just tooted. So all aboard and we're ready to go. Right. <laughs> I've had a few test runs of this because I couldn't figure out how to make this train go. But I, had to, I think it was Chinny Vision's video I watched to make this fucking thing go. Right. What you have to do, I think, get the regulator, put it at least halfway. I think the brakes are off which is V, so R is the regulator, V is the vacuum brake, we don't need to do that, and I have to push the cutoff, so I think we just gently bring the cutoff, I think, or well, maybe a little bit more, 
Maybe up the regulator a bit. All right, here we go. We're moving. We're moving. Excellent. Now, if I wanted to bring that the other way, I hold down shift and push the keys. So it brings it back down. So if I want to bring down the regulator, which I'm assuming is the accelerator. I'm assuming that. I don't know nothing about steam trains. <laughs> so... Now, this game would probably appeal to train enthusiasts, especially steam trains. It might appeal to them back in the mid-80s. I think this game came out in 1985. Also come out on the Spectrum, the Commodore 64 and the BBC Micro. Don't think it came out on any 16-bit systems. Maybe it'll work better on 16-bit systems. It is a bit um, jumpy-jerky, but it... It is a simulator. This is a train simulator. So, right, maybe we can bring up the regulator so we're at full speed. I don't know what the cutoff does. There is a manual that tells you what everything does. I can't be fucking bothered to read it. It's like a guide to fucking how to drive a steam train. We're moving. That's all I care about. That's all I give a shit about. I'm moving. The next objective is to stop the fucking thing. If I can stop it at a, st at a station, I'll be happy. This is why you got this training mode. Oh, that's that pa that's Battersea Power Station. Now, I can't remember, do I stop at Battersea? I don't think I do. So, for, for newbies like me, this is what I have to do, is go on to the training mode. Now, you can also, by pushing your A key, accelerate the time. So it just speeds up the game. Yeah, it's very, very slow on the Amstrad CPC. It makes me think this possibly could be a spectrum port. Right, let's just go back to normal mode. I don't think I've got to stop at Battersea. Space is message. Water 16, right, so it tells you the... So we're going at 36 miles an hour. Coal is 22 and a half degrees. Clapham Junction. I'm coming up to Clapham Junction. Right, so... Right, S is toggle between smoke on and smoke off. So, copy, return to main menu. G, toggle between display position of train. We're pushing P, but that don't do nothing. Oh, here we go. Position fit two and a half, right and four. Yeah, but it don't tell you the station that I'm coming up to. Oh, so if you push T, right, it gives you a timetable. So I've, I'm coming up to Ballum. So I've got to stop at Ballum in. Oh, 900, I'm taking, that's 9, at 9 o'clock, or oh, 09, so it could be, that's on the minute, right, okay, okay, so push enter, so I don't have to stop at Clapham Junction, I've got to stop at Ballum, okay, so it tells you, now can this train go any faster if I, Right, I'm increasing the cutoff, whatever that is. Right, because I'm increasing the cutoff, the train is going faster, but I've got to work out the time. Yeah, it does look like Clapham Junction, actually, loads of junctions. I've been there a few times in my life. So I've got to stop at Ballum. Wandsworth Common, so we don't have to worry about that. So we're going at 40 miles an hour. 
Right, let's just push A and accelerate the time. Yeah. Would I enjoy this if I had this back in the day? Well, it's a good job we got all the practice modes, so this will get you into the game. You know, you do need to practice because otherwise, you 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 probably if, right. So we're coming up to Balam. Now the important thing is, what did I slot? No, I've got him back to normal. Is now we've got to slow the train down. So apply the brake. Apply the brake. Now, oh shit! I think I fucked up. Now bring that down. And probably the cutoff. And I'll slow him down. Alright, the brake is applied. Five. Now what? Well, I'm at the station. <laughs> <laughs> have I just fucked this up maybe I've got to right let's just um... right let's just go forward a bit so um, take the brake off right so control and V so that's the brake off now get the regulator up oh not that much uh, control Bring the regulator down a bit, maybe, and bring the cut off. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing because I don't know fuck all about trains. The train isn't moving. <laughs> or is it moving? No. Maybe I need to, maybe it's less cut off, maybe more cut off. I don't know. The brake's not on, but the train ain't moving, so I don't get it. I don't get why the fucking train ain't moving. Well, maybe less cut off? I mean, I've got the brake off. Right, let's... Right, the brake is on. Now let's turn the brake off. The vacuum brake. Now I don't... Oh, here we go. We're moving. Well, I stopped at the station. I probably didn't stop properly, but I fucking stopped at the tra station, so fuck it. Let's just keep going. Oh, what's that beep? Maybe that beep was the indication that I should have stopped. Oh well. Fuck it. Well let's just put the regulator right up. Now we're going to go to Streth Streatham Common. And put the cut off. What is the cut off do? Right. Now this train should start building up speed, or is it? Yep, yeah, right, let's just push A. Yeah, so it's a very complex game. So it's best to start just getting used to the you know the the beginning of it, you know, just the basics. Once you've mastered how to use the you know the cutoff, the regulator and the was it the vacuum brake once you perfected it then move to the next level and so on and so on until you feel pretty confident to um, do everything then you can start then you can start um, doing the runs doing the actual training bits <laughs> the proper you know doing it for doing it properly but it's good that you got this training option on it because um, otherwise you're just going to lose interest if it's too complicated it's like fucking playing well it ain't as bad as playing Gunship 2000 I couldn't even fucking um, take off in that I ref you know it was requested for me to play but I couldn't 
take off at all, even on training mode. It was that complicated. So I thought, fuck it, I'm not reviewing it. What's the point if I can't take off? At least I'm able to do something here. At least I can make the train go. You know, I can probably get better at it so I can do um, uh, different things. Right, I'm going through cellar stuff. Oh, he's Croydon. So uh, we're coming up to my own patch. So this is, yeah, as I said, it's based in the 1930s. Well, let's just go past East Croydon. I'm supposed to stop there. South Croydon. Oh, what's after? I bet it's pearly after South Croydon, isn't it? Pearly Oaks, yeah. I don't think that exists anymore. I don't know, does it? Yeah, so it's best to get used to the game. The frame rate is very poor on this, so... Hmm, as I did mention, it also come out in the Spectrum, Commodore 64 and BBC Micro. And I think what I've seen of some people's reviews, they all pretty much look the same. They all look exactly the same. So basically, it's a steam train simulator. You might like it, you might not like it. As I said, I'm not really into trains. Not into trains at all, so... Cane Hill Tunnel. So I think those beeps are the ones you've got to stop at. So let's see how long it takes to get to Brian. Then I might try and attempt to stop. Because <laughs> that's the end of the line. But there might be a few stations that we might have to go through. So Quarry Tunnel. Yeah, you can even blow the whistle if you want once you... Yeah, it starts getting very slow now. You can do it on demo so you can see where you go. I mean, I think different um, things on the menu, you, you do have to stop at different stops. It ain't just the same. So you do get a variation in gameplay. Even though it is quite slow on the CPC. I think you can stop at signals and things like that. Speed 78 miles an hour, I'm getting faster. Yeah. It was southwards. I think it might take too long to get to Brighton actually. Even though I've got it on fast, this is not real time. It's still taking a long time. Holy. Right. So we're going up to 87 miles an hour. 88 miles an hour. So that's enough to push the DeLorean up to 88 miles an hour to get back to 1985. <laughs> oh, 89. Where am I? Gatwick Racecourse. Because I don't know if Gatwick Airport was about then. Back then. Three bridges. Yeah, so would I have bought it? I don't know. As I said, I'm not really into trains. I think those beeps is where I'm supposed to stop. But I'm not gonna. I'm gonna wait till I get to Brighton. I think. Um, P. Right, Brighton's 19... 18 and a half miles, so, okay. 
Right, let's have a look at the timetable. So, so I think we're almost there. So let's keep going. Yeah, so as I said, would I buy it? I don't know. It's an interesting game. It's interesting, you know, it's something different to drive a train. Uh, I did have a train game back in the day. It was called The Train Escape from Normandy. I mean, that wasn't just driving a train. That had, it was a wartime game. So you was driving the train. It was a bit of a shoot 'em up game. But even that, the graphics weren't were pretty good on that, actually, when you're driving the train. I'm saying the graphics on that were better than this. Um, because obviously you've got to keep an eye on the gauges and all that. But even that, you had basic control over a steam train, even back then. Obviously it wasn't no way as complicated as this, but it was a good game, that, the, the train escape from Normandy. So that's basically the, tr the closest I got to a train simulator. This is obviously a lot more in depth, so as I said, this is probably going to appeal to the um, people that are into steam trains or model railways, perhaps. Me, I like the fact that it's got like something like this to get you into the game, to try and get you in the game. You know, if it was way too complicated from the start, I fucking wouldn't have bothered. It's just the fact I actually got the train moving, so yeah, so it's worth giving a review. Otherwise, if I couldn't get the train moving at all, I wouldn't have bothered. There's games that I don't review because it's too complicated, and I just don't see the point of reviewing it if I can't get nowhere on it. At least I'm getting somewhere on it, so even though it's on training, so this is the best way to start, is on training. Training to drive a train. <laughs> Right, I'm just waiting out. How long have I got to... Um, what's the key? S. No, no, no. Is it toggle between smoke? Right. Right, position the train. Right, so I'm f still fucking 14 miles away. Have I got it on fast? Oh, I haven't. I ain't got it on accelerate. That's why. I wonder why it's going so slow. Right, so we can push A for accelerating the game. Fodial tunnel. So obviously you probably have to blow the whistle every time you go under a tunnel. Wivels field. So now we're getting quite close to Brighton. Now the question is, can I stop the train <laughs> when it gets to Brighton, Burgess Hill? Right, so... Yeah, I'm not really playing the game, Hascock. I mean, this is what I'd probably do if I bought the game. You know, you know, I'd probably be trying to get used to it, you know, with the minimal functions at first. And once I get better at it, then you go, you know, you get used more options. Canyon Tunnel. So I'm just probably playing this if I if I had this game back in the day. Yes, there's going to be people that can do a more of an in-depth review because they've probably played the game. They probably had the game. This is me reviewing the game if I bought it from new. This is this is a game you're not going to pick up and play straight away. You've got to get used to this. It's too. It is a very complex game for the time. 1985. This would have been a very complex game. Patcham Tunnel. So, how far away am I now? Ooh, very close. Right. I think I need to be starting to slow down. Right. Let's put the acceleration off. I think it's time to. Oh shit, 
shit, shit. Right, uh, uh, where's the regulator? Regulator. And a prior to break. I think I'm going to crash. Have I done it too soon? I'm still going at speed. No, I need to brake, 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 brake. Right, okay. Am I broke? What's going on? Have I broke too soon? Right, uh, no water, game over, push A, no water, feasible plugs, gone, so I've obviously fucked the train up then, push A, when I tried, at least I made it to fucking Brighton, <laughs> didn't stop anywhere else, but I still, what, I think I did stop at Ballum, didn't I, but I think I fucked that up, so, it's all right, you know, it's all right. It's going to take a while to master. It will take, unless you, unless you into trains and you know what everything does, you know. But the frame rate is a bit slow. Uh, but it's good that you can accelerate it. It might be worth a go if you're curious. It might, it's a curious game, you're curio. You know, at least I got to try a train simulator. Uh, I suppose I would have played it if I had it back in the day. Maybe on training mode, you know, get better at it so you can master it. But the only problem is with this game, it is slow. The frame rate is very bad. Um... Maybe the Spectrum version might have been quicker. I don't know. But for a train simulator, I suppose it, it, is well, it seems to be well detailed for its time. You know, so if you was a train enthusiastic, you might like this game. But me, I'm not a train enthusiastic. But I still probably would have tried it. You know, maybe I still would have tried it. I tried it now, so... It's okay, it's okay, that's all I'm going to say, it's okay. Anyway, going to end this now, thank you so much for watching, until next time and goodbye.